winter months as we are now we get these beautiful blue skies and generally the bush itself looks quite drab and brown and not very good at all but there is one plant that does start to flower in our winter months which is a little bit unusual and you can see it there with the bright yellow that's contrasting against the blue and that is the knob thorn. So the knob thorns are starting to flower in fact they should have started a few weeks ago already it's quite common to see them flowering in July but generally the peak of their flowering period is now in August and this is going to be a hive of activity for all of those insects and birds that have been waiting for nectar and for pollen and all of the other kind of things so we'll find bees we'll find wasps varying kinds of butterflies as well as the mammals themselves so you're gonna find giraffe are the big exponents of knob thorns you'll often find them reaching up and if we look at the bottom branches of this knob thorn so the lowest branch that there is which is in range for an elephant or a giraffe there you go they are absolutely bare there is no flowers whatsoever there so those have all been eaten by varying predators of this tree which would like I say would most likely have been a giraffe or maybe an elephant and would have eaten that and then as you just get out of reach of them slow the flowers then start again and all the way up to the top but this particular knob thorn is really boasting a heavy load of flowers and there are a lot of insects actually buzzing around in that knob thorn it's just unfortunately we can't get close enough with the camera to show you but I've seen a few wasps flying around and there was one or two butterflies there earlier so very nice to see and it just breaks the sort of monotony of the beiges and the dead drab grass when you start to see beautiful flowers like that now there is one other flower that we do get unfortunately not very many of them here in Juma that flower in the winter that are brightly colored and beautiful and that is called an impala lily now the impala lilies you see them a lot in the southern part of the sabi sands and in fact another name for them is the sabi star because of their proximity in the sabi area where the river actually starts and there's lots of them up there and they have a beautiful sort of maroon and white flower it is very pretty and you'll find that they once flower in the winter months and it's one of those really good looking flowers and because it's dry you see actually notice them a lot more the other one that does flower at that time is also the kudu lily which looks very similar and it's in the shape of the tree it just gets a little bit larger and it has big long spikes on the plant itself and the flower is not it doesn't have any maroon it produces a big white flower about the size of my hand that comes out so also a very pretty plant that flowers in the winter months